If it's trash, turn it off. But if it has value, please share it out for me. Of course, it's brought to you by MaxEffortMuscle.com for all your supplement needs. Go to Max Effort Muscle. All right, Daily Fire, episode 347. Uh, this tweet says, be optimistic and set expectations on yourself and see what happens. So, you know, think about what's possible. Expect more out of yourself on a daily basis and see what what kind of, where that falls. Or be pessimistic. Have zero expectations on yourself. I already know what's going to happen. You're not going to get what you want. So uh, I think it was um, somebody tweeted the other day where they were like, look, life is hard, right? It's hard to work towards a major goal. It's also hard if you have no goal. So fuck, life is difficult no matter what, no matter what. So you might as well be like pushing forward to achieve something. So you have some type of excitement, some type of enthusiasm, some type of goals to reach and push and inspire. Cause if not shit is hard anyway. So it's like, why not lead with an optimistic attitude on top of having an expectation on yourself. So there's kind of like one of those things with myself that I never feel like I'm doing enough. I never felt like I was like strong enough or lean enough or ate good enough or no matter what happens, I always think that, that there's like a better expectation. My expectation is also to win and it doesn't always happen, but I'm put, trying to put myself in the best possible position to fucking win because my expectation is so high. So in those early morning hours where there's no cameras outside of when Trey's capturing it early and whatnot, like my expectation of the stuff that I'm studying, the things that I'm pushing at, the conditioning that I'm doing, the training that I'm doing, like all of that shit is extremely high. And that's why I don't fucking miss because I know that's what it's going to take to even get a chance to try to do something great. You don't even get a fucking chance if you have no expectation and you're looking at the you know world as glass half full. And so the reality is I think a lot of people fall into this uh, kind of vortex of pes pessimistic attitudes and they don't really expect a lot out of, out of themselves. And they're the first people bitching why nothing's happening to them. Motherfuckers aren't putting you on and you ain't putting yourself on if you're bringing that shitty ass attitude and you have zero expectations. It's just what it is. Now, the flip side, if you're pushing, you're optimistic, and on top of it, you're expecting a lot out of yourself, you're going to get a chance for someone to kind of give you a thumbs up, maybe help you out, or at the end of the day, if you're relentless enough, you put your fucking self on. You put your fucking self on because people start to take notice that your expectations are at that level. And if you can continue to do that consistently, it changes everything. And so when you're watching this, you're probably thinking, man, which, which version of this am I? Or am I somewhere in between? Am I really expecting enough out of myself? Should I be expecting the train every day in some capacity? Should I be expecting to work my mind every day in some capacity? Should I be starting like a side project because I don't necessarily like my job? Like, is there, are you asking enough of yourself? Are you like at the end of the day, are you asking enough of yourself? And then on top of that, do you have a clear vision or goal or something that you're trying to accomplish? And you have to be just around that thought. You have to think that it's fucking possible. I'm telling you that it's fucking possible, but you have to be relentless. You have to have that expectation and you got to fucking deliver the secret shit ain't going to work. You're just law of attraction. I'm going to think about it. Like that shit ain't going to happen. There has to be action around it. So listen, I've been around both in my life and I would say maybe even earlier in my life before I understood I could have been more on that negative side because a lot of things around me were negative. And then when I started to understand, honestly, when I read Education of a Bodybuilder and I was reading the Arnold Encyclopedia and I started reading about uh, him and Franco, I started seeing how positive those things were when I was young because I have no internet, right, in the, in the 90s. And so it's one of those things where you start to realize, well, what's the bright side of this? What's the optimistic side of this? And then what should I expect out of myself so maybe I get a chance to take part in that? So... Daily fire, optimism, expectation over pessimism and no expectations.